Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are breaking down the game after a year. What was you know what was before and what is now? And for those who number one are new to the game, number two are returning to the game, there has been a lot of changes. So I have had a lot of questions whether is it worth it to stay? What are the challenging content in the game? Which you know what are the reasons that people should stay so this is the video in which we will be discussing it so um going first with what was what we had before so starting with we only had one scene before and this is the scene it was actually a very boring background for for a year after a year they gave us this so that is just a small part of what has been happening um, also, if you change your operative here, you might get interactive scenes. Depending on, you know, if you purchased it, then you'll be getting new ones. So let's say, for example, for life, the new operative, she has an interactive scene here. I won't go into the details of, you know, what, what's in this, but there are interactive pa packages as part of a skin or of an operative skin package so um that is just it those are ch ch changes that i think are you know vital to the community and also the community wants also guys um what else um so in terms of character design the old characters were designed very very simple um uh, exception is Nita, but overall the designs are very simple, not too flashy. Um, if we can, you know, this is the new skin of Life Force Star. But if you go back to the original skin, so this is how she looks like. It's very very simple. Most of the the skins were were kind of similar in theme. Uh, even even they, they even gave this out before and it's again it's a very simple astronaut so, uh, suit um that is i don't think it appeals to the audience so again this one is one of the best skins that they have put out um i don't really have a problem with this so again if you can see the contrast between what is before and what is now Another example, let's let's get to the skin again of Life um, Infinite Sight. So this is the new skin. So again, if you've seen the detail, the additional detail, um, it's not going to be talking about it, but you can see the difference of what is before and what is now. And um, going back to content-wise, uh, content is going to be here. Content-wise, this patch used to be the three and now they've given a star master which we'll be going to later in, into detail so more permanent events now so no i'm gonna go through it so star master is a game mode it was a temporary game mode now it's a permanent game mode in which you gather um you gather you know followers or minions if i may say you use them in battle, then if you want to equip them or bring them with you, you have to uh, be within your party cost, as you can see here. So they will be part of you exploring certain parts of, you know, of certain scenarios, and you will obviously get rewards for that. So, so far, there's also a fishing guide. This was part of a game before. A mini game that they made permanent so again this is one of you know this was one uh, this is i think uh, a good start for them in terms of their first year star master is actually one of the best games that they tried out with the community and it's now here on a permanent base imagine we didn't have much content before now we have kind of a respectable amount um part paradoxical labyrinth is also one of the additions we didn't have this before this one is like choosing the best path for you gathering buffs um and everything and this is very challenging especially when 
you are actually go with the danger level 85 some of the what do you call this some of the bosses here are very difficult especially if you don't have the right buffs you can't definitely go through level 85 so this is very challenging again what else do we have here so so far both of them are actually good um again with in terms of content let us go to the healing center so this is also something new so just to click escape click here then you'll be spawning here so this is your healing center guys and um, this is where your operatives actually hang out um, and this is your masseuses table there so again this is a very fun content i actually made a guide a quick guide on this make sure that you check that out as well on how to play or how to clear the stages here also guys um just want to go through um one thing that has improved that much um it's actually the um summon system so before we only have a 50 50 um drop rate for banners um uh, guaranteed pity is you know um after the first so there's no guarantee pity on the first if you don't get the 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 limited operative then the next one you get on a guarantee but they put out a 100 percent guarantee which was not here before but with more you know the the amount of summons is quite kind of you know a little bit big but again this is why it's it's guaranteed so basically this one is a big help to the community um also one of the things that uh, i think i should mention that they were right in you know bringing it out is shard farming as you are able to get the operative you can actually farm the shards here shards um in terms of manifestation so if you plan to only pull one you can basically you know get your shards from this place you are you know you could get i think um um you could only get shards for two operatives but if they drop these babies here these ones these uh, memory chip bundle you could actually add to your daily limit okay so that is one thing that has been very good to us um also uh i mentioned interactive scenes I already mentioned that so again there are a lot of things happening i'm sure that they will be putting out more permanent content in the game this one this these ones are the old ones these are the your usual grind this is new tactic evolution hopefully they could add to um the phases here this is up to phase 12 and most of the community who started in day one already finished that this one changes and updates depending on the week depending on the boss so again a lot of things happening um i guarantee you star master and paradoxical labyrinth will really challenge you in terms of the permanent content for this game apart from that of course we do have we do have this the event uh the the, the limited time events that we are going to grind so again the game has grown a lot um in terms of aesthetics how the operatives look in terms of gameplay in which we can enjoy and can be challenged so if you are starting the game right now and if you are a returning player that left in the early stages of the game now is a really good time for you to come back because again the game has, has changed is continues to change the devs have been very very you know very um generous on giving rewards even for free to play so i don't see any reason for snow break to slow down in the in the future so again if you just started today best of luck to you and um, i hope you get the differences between what was before and what is now and the story is actually more fun now it's very it's interactive it's much fun the storylines are you know 
are piquing the interest of people. So again, guys, stay for the game. Stay for the game for what the game has to offer. I tell you, this game is very enjoyable. Um, doesn't take much of your time to take out your dailies, except if you have events, limited events, it adds to your dailies, of course. But again, the dailies are very quick, even less than 30 minutes, you can actually be done. So that is what I will leave you guys. And uh, I hope that convinces you, to, you guys to stay and to try out the game. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.